If you're looking to get into traditional publishing, you have decades worth of resources and advice to pull on, but if you're looking at self-publishing, things get a little bit trickier. So let's talk resources. Hey Word Nerds, I hope everyone is having a fantastic week so far. So over the past few months, as we've transitioned over to this new format, I've seen multiple requests for more self-publishing type content, and it's something I've been thinking a lot about, it's something I would love to do more of, but doesn't always make as much sense as I'd hope. I'm the only word nerd who is fully entrenched in the self-publishing world, and while I do have things in the works to hopefully bring more of that kind of content for all of you, I wanted to take a little bit of time today to talk about other resources that you can draw from in order to learn more about self-publishing, how to do it if it's the right option for you, who's doing things well and who you should be paying attention to, and all of those nitty-gritty details, because there are a lot of options, but it can be hard to know where to look because self-publishing hasn't been around for as long as traditional publishing. Our communities are newer, the superstar authors who are doing all kinds of awesome things are in kind of more quiet places of the internet. There aren't all those household names that everyone is always talking about, but these are still authors that are hitting it out of the park and clearly know their stuff. So these kinds of authors are definitely the ones you should be paying attention to if you're looking to get into self-publishing yourself. There's also a lot of great communities and books, so let's talk about it. When I was first researching self-publishing for myself as an option for my own career, one of the resources I was drawing on most often was books because that was always kind of how I preferred to learn things and an easy way to get information kind of broken down into different sections so you could find exactly what you were looking for. There were only a few options back then when I was first getting into it because this was 2013 or so. There are way more options now. There are a ton of books I wouldn't even know where to start in terms of what to recommend because there are a bunch of different niches in terms of books so you can find very specifically what you were looking for in terms of what you should be writing, how to be writing more, how to market, how to edit, all of that. So anything you're looking for, there's probably a book for it, but the only thing to keep in mind is that this information is always changing. Self-publishing changes so fast in terms of what sells and what works and what you need to do and what resources you need to do in order to find all of these things and put it all together. So I won't recommend specific books, but do have a look on Amazon. There are quite a few in Kindle Unlimited as well in terms of just getting that basic information or doing a deep dive into a specific topic that you're hoping to learn more about. Honestly, where you're going to find most of your information is in online communities. When I was starting out, this was Kboards, but it's not something I've really used actively in years now. The place to be is kind of Facebook. I do wish things were a little bit different because I'm trying to use less Facebook as I find it kind of distracting. But in terms of where self-published authors are talking and learning and discussing their trade and their craft, Facebook is almost totally it. That is where you're going to find the bulk of your information, the bulk of the authors you want to be following and learning from. The biggest group at this point is the 20 Books 250k group, which is the one that I've gone to the conference for in Las Vegas a couple of years running now. This is a massive group with so much information. They have great resources. There are always new updates, always new authors talking about what's working for them. Everyone from the people just starting out to the superstars who have been in the game for years now. It is a phenomenal resource. They have a great kind of starter document to jump in from and learn all the basics or just figure out which threads you most want to jump into where you should be checking things out before you dive into the conversation and probably ask a question that's been asked a few times already it is well structured well moderated absolutely recommended but it can be a little bit intimidating because there is a lot going on things are moving very quickly Sometimes it can feel like all of the authors kind of know each other already, but it is worth your patience and your time because you can learn so much in that group, arguably everything you need to learn in order to self-publish, it's right there. But if you're looking for something a little bit smaller, I would also recommend the Writing Gals Facebook group. This is a group of four self-published authors who are writing in sweet romance, but they do talk about more broad publishing topics. It is a smaller community. They also have a podcast slash YouTube channel, so you can check out resources there. Absolutely recommend it as well, especially if you're looking to kind of work your way into something a little bit smaller. It's still a decent sized group with a lot of information, but it's a little less intimidating than 20 books. So if you're looking to head over to Facebook, which I absolutely recommend, either one of these would be a solid option. And one last resource that is a little less conventional, but really shouldn't be, is Amazon.com. 
no matter what country you're from, try the .com website first because you will learn the most there. This is where so much of self-publishing is happening. You have a ton of authors who are exclusive to Amazon, so they're only putting their books up for sale on Amazon while also including them in Kindle Unlimited, which is a subscription program. Whereas you have other authors who are wide, so to speak, where they are putting their books up on different websites, but they're also up on Amazon. So basically everything you need to learn about what is happening in terms of current publishing trends will usually be on this website. You'll see a lot of how sales work, what kind of covers are currently popular. I spend a lot of time looking at different sales rankings in different categories. So what kind of books are getting a lot of traction right now? What kind of covers? Which authors are just killing it? There's so much you can learn here. There's also a bunch of tools like Klytics and KDP Rocket, which will help you break down all of this information. But there's just so much you can learn on Amazon about what's going to work, what's been done before, what kind of books are just making all the waves. If you're up for it, I would also recommend a Kindle Unlimited subscription just to see what is currently selling in your genres and to actually take the time to read those books, see what's working, see what is hitting it big, because that is always going to be valuable information. But of course, like everything else in self-publishing, that information is always changing. So you do need to take the time on a pretty regular basis just to stay on top of genre trends and cover trends and all of that fun stuff in between. But it can be a lot of fun, especially if you are a book lover, which I really hope you are. You're looking at all of these books, inevitably finding some you want to read, and calling it homework for your career is just kind of a bonus. So that's it for me today. Don't forget to join us on Sunday for our next live chat. In the meantime, happy reading, happy writing, and I'll see you next time.